All right, now we love you. Um, yeah, we also do some work uh, around here. You know, we do some work around here with the kids and stuff. We try to help families that need help. That's why we do the gardening. If you go back on the old videos, you'll see the gardening we do. We give that food away to those that really, really need it. And uh, because that's what it's about. And, and it, you know, that's just, we got to do something good. And that's what's wrong with this world. Everybody's so selfish and thinking of themselves and their own needs and my own problems. There's kids out there. Now, if you're a grown man, hey, you got to work. You got to tend yourself, right? But sometimes children don't have that opportunity. They, they, they have it really hard. So I'm probably a little odd than most people because I don't care about the politics and people fighting and all that stuff because I was always a redhead. Ain't nobody wanted nothing to do with me. I, I had to sit by myself in school anyway, so I didn't care. So I see the world as everybody hated me. It didn't matter. But I love the Lord and I love these kids and I understand that their bellies hurt and they don't care. They don't care about your politics. They don't care about your feelings and who you think you are and if you care so much or don't care so much. They want something to eat. They're hungry. They want medical care. They want a teddy bear so they can hold it at night because their parents are gone. That's what these kids want. Now, I've been working with a brother in Kesey, Kenya for quite some time now, about a year. Now, I ain't going to tell you the story of how it started and how it all come together. It was the Lord. But he's a brother in Christ, and he'll vouch for me. I'll let him speak on my behalf. I would never want to speak on my own, but I can speak on him. He's a good man. He helped. He reached out and he said, I will help you, brother, with this, with kids I don't even know. And I will help you to make sure that this gets done right. And the Lord put him in my life. And the Lord put me in his. So we're trying to help a few orphans. We can't help them all, folks. But we're trying to help a few of them in Kesey, Kenya. And you say, well, brother Rob, why are you over there? Why ain't you over here? Oh, we're here too. We're here too, helping who we can. You see, I can't do everything, folks. The most I can do is be a voice. Okay, I can be bashed every day. I can be called all kinds of names, but you're giving me strength to carry on because when you do that, these kids are hungry. These kids need something to eat. They need people to care about them. They need to know that they're loved. It doesn't matter what color you are. I'm so tired of America. America's embarrassing. I have to talk to my brothers in Kisi, Kenya, and I have to listen to the trash that comes out of this, this country. We're trash over here. We live sinfully. We have no feelings for other people. We have more than we even realize. Poor over here is rich over there. Listen to me, folks. Come over on Facebook. I know you maybe if you don't use Facebook. Come over to Teach the People Ministries. Watch our videos. See the little em2ko at gmail.com. And ask yourself, do I want to do something? Do I care enough? to do something for these children. Because, see, I see their smiles and their laughs and their cries. You can help. God.